Tim Well is here with creating with click designs and we're going to be doing an over the shoulder thing today. And so what you see on your screen is actually a index page from a PLR product, which is free. This is part of a practice exercise doing some modeling in click funnels. And we won't be using click funnels on this video, but we will be looking at how we can use click designs model some of these things right now we're going to look at recreating some of the creatives we would need for our own website based on this page as our model and so what we're going to do in this video is right here where it says 10 for marketing secrets we are going to create a version of this let's go to click designs and I am going to move it over here, make things a little easier. Also, we're going to bring up a website called coolers.io, which is sort of my go-to for color. So coolers.co is the website we're going to go to. And they do have apparently some kind of upgraded features but I always use the free and I only use a couple of things here but they're very useful so the one thing I like to use here is the palettes so that's where we're going to just begin some of our color from they have a whole bunch of different palettes here browns a little trickier on cooler because it's not the most popular thing they like their reds their blues their greens and things like that but I think we might be able to work with this here all right let's go to click designs go to the main page so we're going to start from scratch we're going to call this or are we going to call it we are going to call it 10 mark we'll call our project 10 marketing secrets let's call it 10 hidden marketing secrets all right and then we're going to click continue you don't choose the category it will ask you for the cabinet size right now we're just going to set the default size there click continue and that's going to bring up our editor and our cabinets eventually okay so the first thing i'm going to do is just go to the background and set that to white for right now so we can see the background clearly then I'm going to use the slide selection up here so we can see the entire cabinets on the screen. All right, so here's what we need to do. We're going to go to our text area and select new text box here. Back to our thing. So the first thing we need is just the number 10. Back 10 in there. And let's just leave that one by itself for right now. Let's go to text, bring up another text layer. And we're going to put secrets. I think we'll do it that way. Go with that. Capitalize that. All right. Here's where we need to get a little itchy with it. So we're going to choose our color there. Come to our Groove Designer Pro, down to our color selection for the text. We're going to go ahead and put that brown color in there. A little lighter probably than the what we're modeling, but that's okay. Then, I want to go down here to the font family and choose our font. Nice thing about click designs is that you have a text box selected when you scroll over the different scripts or fonts, it will show you how it's going to look. So we're going to choose Archivo Black here. Like that, brown. The pen, we also need to be brown. Should be brown, but it's not. So let's go do it. 
make that brown and then we're also for it going to choose archivo black okay so we're 50 percent of the way there let's go back so we have another two parts to this forum and marketing which are going to be two different text boxes they're a black color so again we go to our text top here let's add a new text layer we'll capitalize this and we'll go forum and let's go ahead and then it's going with the usual zero 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 black let's try picking something else it's a dull black but it's a different effect. if we go to coolers wondering what black and color but you're wondering what what it is you can go to color picker and there press enter it will tell us that this is eerie black all right kind of a little digression but i to show that little feature there all right so we're going to go here and change the standard black to the eerie black and we're going to duplicate this actually we're not going to get rid of this one now so like the other one we want to go ahead and if we can make things a little easy every now and then so we want to choose some kind of script that's going to look appropriate and the Vietnam Pro let's go ahead and use that all right now we're going to duplicate that What was the other word we're using? Uh, marketing. We're going to change that to marketing. I do realize if I had two screens or if I had a split screen, this would probably be a little easier, but I'm just going to proceed this way. All right, so. Find out here this is font size of 36 that's font size 36 that's good now head and bold that i think i'll unbold it okay so now we've got all our pieces here since we have all our pieces we can go ahead and make our background transparent because I'm going to want it transparent when I actually use this. Let's drop that down to 100. Now we're working with even numbers. All right. And then forum. Grab that and put it there. Now, if you see, I don't know if you can see it on your computer screen. There's a little green line, horizontal line, that's helping me line this up from the click sign editor gives those things are very helpful all right so forum we want that a little bigger you know just eyeballing this because in the end this is going to be a practice exercise all right we'll go with that at 44 so our other black marketing here we will make it 44 Here's where we've got to do a little bit of work for that background that's just on the marketing. So we're going to go to shapes. We're going to go to basic shapes. And we're going to choose a square. Square is close to a rectangle. Now, here's what we are going to do. 
all the items and quick, quick designs have handles you can use. So we're going to make this just slightly bigger than our marketing. Alright, and then we're going to go back to coolers and take out that brown again. Let's go put our tin there. We're going to put our tin right about there. And we're going to make that fairly large. Now, there are layers in Click Design, but they're not like Photoshop layers. There may be more analogous, uh, similar, not used to a big word there, to what's in, say, Adobe Express or Canva. Now, they do have a new layers feature that just came in the Click Designs this past week. I haven't played with it that much, so I don't want to really use it right now because. Truthfully, I may not know what I'm doing. Now you see how the marketing is disappearing behind the brown. So this is where we have to be a little creative and use our tools here. So we're going to choose bring forward and that will put that on top of the brown. And these features down here, we like that again. We got bring forward, bring backwards. Center horizontally, center vertically, duplicate, flip horizontally so we can flip it, flip vertically, we flip it that way, we can lock, we can select all, which will select everything on the screen, or we can have fit the screen. So that's some of your, and then of course we have a delete button. That's some of your, uh, under your advanced functions that you have at the bottom, left hand side on click design. We don't need that. So we've got the marketing there. Got that just about right. Now we're going to move this a little over here and this a little here. Because when we come back to here, probably need to move that in a little smaller. Put our forum right there. So all we have left is our secrets. Now if we go back to our picture there. I see actually uh, we kind of screwed up there, didn't we? Okay, so. There. Quite right, actually. Okay. Well, these things happen when you're doing things over shoulder on the fly. That's fine. Okay, so in forum, how are we looking here? Marketing, looking pretty good. All right, let's bring this up here. Grab our secrets. And you see it went behind there. So let's try. Finding this. Now. All right, let's try it like this. There we go. And sometimes you have to click it a couple of times. That's especially true if you have, say, a shaded background that has more than one item on. So sometimes it takes a little more. Let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. Make it a little wider where it sticks out a little bit the rest. Then our secret using our green targeting lines. And we can Grab our diagonal handles there and make this a lot bigger. I even go bigger than that.
Alright. It's not exactly that is. Colors are a little off and can't do the try to match the scripts exactly or anything, but it is a fairly decent representation of that. Enough that we can use it in a future project. One other thing we can do here, let me go ahead and put make the background a different color. Um we could use white, but let's go ahead and just make it not quite that. that okay, pink is annoying. Okay, gray is okay. Alright. So I don't want all of this hanging out there. So what I'm gonna do is click on the resize here. I'm gonna start off by cranking down the width, height to 400 and see what that gets us. And this is something I do, maybe you, you don't do this, do this, or something like that, that so big on the cabinets and I start out with a big cabinet instead of trying to size it. Didn't know exactly how big it's going to be when I finish. This is probably your better method. All right, so 400, let's drop that. Try 300. And 300. Okay, so that's got us closer. So let's go 250 on the height. Let's go 350 width. Okay, well that's pretty good. Let's refine that a little bit. Let's take that down 325 on the width. Let's go 275. All right. Okay. Not quite there yet. Let's go 340. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, one other thing I can do here is I'd like to get a little tighter on vertical. So, use one of these. Go to select all. And see how it highlights them all. Let's go ahead and just move all of this. Pop. And we'll chop off that bottom part a little bit. So, 225. We can go to 10. Okay, now it's looking pretty good. Got a nice little tight cabinet with not too much space around the other side. I'll make it easier when I'm putting it in to a website or into click funnels or whatever. Let's go to our background. And let's go ahead and make that transparent again. Okay, so we're almost there. Now, I can export directly here from the editor, but I'm not going to do that right now because there's a couple different pieces I'm going to make off that, that web page example. So I'm just going to save. That's our little dem over the shoulder demonstration today on how we can use click designs in this over the shoulder demonstration on how to quickly model something off another web page and create a fairly reasonable version of it in click designs without getting too much in the weeds about it. I mean, if I really wanted to really totally duplicate it exactly, that would be more work. But in this case, we just want something that's fairly close to that. And so I think we achieved that today. So I thank you for your time. I'll be making more videos using click designs. So have a nice day and like and subscribe. Bye.